I really like Pokemon. So much that Pokemon Y is probably my top 5 of most played games. Also, during that gen I was playing competitive singles on the PC in the library. Competitive more in the sense that I was just playing against other players because I mostly only played anything goes. I had one specific team during the Gen 6 and Gen 7 era that I loved playing a lot, and to this day I'm still very proud of it. And as I recently came across it again, I decided to make, uh, I decided to present it here. So let's explain some of the more weird choices that I made for it. So let's get started. Quick disclaimer, I peaked at like 1.4k elo on Shoutdown, so some decisions might be questionable for people who are actually good at the game. It's a rain team, so it starts as every good rain team does, with a bird carrying a damp rock. Also, that's the most defensive mod in the entire team. The moveset is Defog, Roost, Hurricane and Scold. The Eevees are specially defensive and HP. Although Pelipper gets most of its value from Drizzle, so the EVs themselves don't really matter all that much. Scald allows us to cripple some of physical attackers and other mods that might want to blow up. Defog counters hazard leads, which were a lot more common back in the day. Hurricane deals damage and enables some hacks, and Roost is also there to help. So what other rain setters could we have possibly played? That's right, it's Kyogre. Not the Primal version, because we aren't boring, and because it allows all Kyogre to win against Primal Kyogre. We do like every other person creating a Pokemon e uh, OC and add a Scarf to it, allowing us to outspeed our cooler Daniel and hitting Thunder twice while they only hit us once. This does mean that Specs Kyogre can potentially one-tap us with a 75% chance, but if we want to be fancy, we can counter that with some Spetsdef investment and a Spetsdef nature, I personally just uh, prefer the additional power against everything that isn't Choice Specs Kyogre. The next move is just Ice Beam. Meanwhile, Water Spout is a must have as a water move. Uh, and it, as a way of dealing with the power loss, we just run Surf alongside it. If you're feeling spicy, you can run Blizzard or Hydro Pump, but I personally just really value the consistency more. It's Gen 6 and Megas are a thing, so we run the most boring option in rain, Mega Swampert. The only thing that's not immediately obvious on the set is that we run with the Facade, because it's a great value option if someone tries to cheese us. Also, we could potentially switch that into one layer of uh, Toxic Spikes on purpose and cause a little ruckus there. Another mod on the team is Azumarill, mostly for coverage. And that's for people who think that water is weak to grass. Sap Zipper is the obvious choice on this team, and Power Punch allows us to get plus two after predicting a grass type attack and potentially forcing a switch. As item, we run leftover and our EVs are attack at HP. Our other moves are Knock Off, Play Rough, and Aqua Jet to actually be able to outspeed something. As you might have expected, the next Pokemon is a Water Frog, my Greninja OC, which, like every other good OC, has a Wait, didn't I say that already? Anyways, we're on the Sash because it allows us to take a primal ground on hit. With grass and out twice, so we can kill it. Also we're on protein because it's very fun. The rest is just coverage, such as dark poles or extra sensory. Because if this Pokemon isn't gimmicky enough, we can either run Shadow Sneak or Quick Attack, primarily beat fierce strategies, as well as also finishing off other sash mods and to be able to dodge fighting or normal or just ghost type attacks. As a last mod, I'm using a life orb contrary superior because that can take advantage of rain being a bit more tanky, only minorly though, and because it can sweep with Leaf Storm and Giga Drain. Uh, the other move is Dragon Pulse and whichever hidden power at the time is the most useful. Probably fire, because fire is just the best hidden power in most cases. Uh, that was really just it, the personal favourite team of mine. Mostly water, uh, basically monotype if you exclude the superior. Yeah, if you ever get to play a format where it's illegal, go try to play it, it's really fun to use. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will hopefully be seeing you in the next video.